Namaste and hello everyone. I am Barsa Basne, your Nepali language tutor. Welcome back. Today, I am here with a video on comparison, that is, with the word dan, which means panda in Nepali. There are a lot of conjugation and vocabulary for comparison, but the widely used one is dan, which means panda. If you are new in my channel and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it. And if you want to support us, please visit our Patreon page. Now, let's jump into the lesson with Panda. The first sentence of Panda is Ma tapai Panda moto chu. Ma tapai Panda moto chu. Which means I am fatter than you. Ma tapai Panda moto chu. Or you can also use in another way Tapai Panda ma moto chu. Putting tapai Panda in front of ma. Tapai Panda ma moto chu. Or Ma tapai panda moto su. Both means same. Moto means fat. This is one of the opposite word which I am using from my opposite word video. If you haven't watched my video yet, the link is given below in the description. You can go and watch it. Second sentence is Uha hami panda oglo hununsa. Uha hami panda oglo hununsa. Oglo means tall. He is taller than us. Or you can say in another way. Hami Panda Uha Aglo Hununsa. Hami Panda Uha Aglo Hununsa. Next sentence is Uniharu Hami Panda Chito Hitsan. Uniharu Hami Panda Chito Hitsan, which means they walk faster than us. Here Chito means faster. Tini Haru Hami Panda Tere Agadi San. Tini Haru Hami Panda Tere Agadi San. Agadi means in front or ahead. They are ahead of us. You can use this sentence whenever you are walking and if some people is ahead of you, you can say Uni haru hami panda agadi chan. Sagar matha anna purna panda aglo sa. Sagar matha anna purna panda aglo sa. Here sagar matha means Mount Everest. Anna purna means another name of mountain. Sagar matha is taller than anna purna. Similarly, next sentence is Nepali bhasa angrezi bhasa panda sajilo sa. Nepali Pasa, Angrezi Pasa Banda, Sajilosa. Here Angrezi means English. So Nepali language is easier than English language. But some of you might not think so. For maybe some of you, English might be easier and Nepali might be difficult. But if you look in the overall scenario, Nepali language is much easier to learn. Just you need to remember some techniques and some tips to make the sentences. Next is Usko sati haru upanda ramro person. Usko sati haru upanda ramro person, which means his friends study better than him. Parno means to study. Aza hizo panda garmi sa. Aza hizo panda garmi sa, which means today is hotter than yesterday. Garmi means hot. Jado means cold. So if you want to make the sentence today is more colder than yesterday, you can simply say. Aza hizo panda zado sa. Aza hizo panda zado sa. If you want to compare between today and yesterday, you can say hizo aza panda garmitio. Hizo aza panda garmitio. So if you compare something that was happened in the past, use theo at the end of the sentence. Ek kilo anar ek kilo shao panda mahongo sa. Ek kilo anar ek kilo shao panda mahongo sa. Here, mahongo means expensive. Some local people might say mango. So, here, mahongo or mango, there might be different pronunciation of different Nepalese people. Please do not get confused. Mahongo or mango means same way. In Nepali language, we tend to make the ha silence in many of the words. So, Nepali people speak mango instead of mahongo. But you can also use mahongo, which means expensive. Ek kilo anar, ek kilo shao banda, mahongo cha, which means one kilo pomegranate is expensive than one kilo apple. Manchi haru garmi ma bhanda chiso ma tere khana khanchan. Manchi haru garmi ma bhanda chiso ma tere khana khanchan. It means people tend to eat more in winter than in summer. So it's a culture here in Nepal. So I have made this sentence. Normally people like to eat a lot during the winter season than in summer. Tiyo luga, yo luga bhanda baklo sa. Tiyo luga, yo luga bhanda baklo sa. Baklo means thick. That cloth is thicker than this cloth. Malai, chaumin bhanda momo man parsa. Malai, 
चाउमिन भाग मोमो मन पर्स आई लाइक मोमो मोर दैन चाउमिन मेरे घर तपाई को घर भाग टाड़ा छ मेरे घर तपाई को घर भाग टाड़ा छर टाड़ा मीन्स फार माइ हाउस इज फार दैन योर्स यो बाटो तो बाटो भाग गाल्टांग गुल्टुंग बाटो तो बाटो भाग गाल्टांग गुल्टुंग गाल्टांग गुल्टुंग मीन्स रफ वे दिस सेंटेन्स मीन्स दिस रोड इज मोर रफ दैन दैट रोड हमीला एक ठाव में भाग धेरे ठाव में घूम मन पर्स हमीला एक ठाव में भाग धेरे ठाव में घूम मन पर्स विच मीन्स वी लाइक टू भिजिट इन मेनी प्लेसेस रादर दैन इन वन प्लेस द लास्ट सेंटेन्स फर टूडेज लेसन इज उस अमीलो खाना भाग पीरो खाना मन पर्स उस अमीलो खाना भाग पीरो खाना मन पर्स इट मीन्स हे लाइक्स स्पाइसी फूड मोर दैन सावर फूड हेयर अमीलो मीन्स सावर पीरो मीन्स स्पाइसी और हट That was all about Dan grammar, which means panda. There is another way to compare the things as well. That is ko dazuma. For example, Nepal ko dazuma, Switzerland chiso sa. Nepal ko dazuma, Switzerland chiso sa, which means in comparison to Nepal, Switzerland is very cold. But the mostly spoken one is panda. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. See you in next video, everyone. Namaste. Bye bye.